are. We're heading to a place called Wisley Gardens. It's a Royal Horticultural Society Gardens and it's huge and it's got beautiful standing grounds, for, you know, you can walk for miles. But it's also got a gorgeous, gorgeous shop and I think it'll be a really great place to pick up a few Christmas presents and possibly a couple of new decorations. Uh, he's already fast asleep, as you can see behind me. So I think he'll be, he'll start off in the pram, but I have put shoes on him. I'm thinking he could have a little toddle around for the first time, kind of in the wild. <laughs> he hasn't really walked around outside before, but he's not going very far. It wouldn't be for long, but I think it'll be fun and fun for him to have a go. So we'll see how that goes. getting dark outside we had such a lovely morning at Wisley it was it was gorgeous so so nice the sun came out we had a coffee we had really quite a long walk Johnny did quite a bit of toddling and pushing his own pram which he enjoyed 
fell over a bit, but he was pretty well padded out, so that was okay. Um, and the shop is just glorious. There's so much nice stuff in there at the moment. But anyway, Johnny's napping, and I'm not sure how long for now. So I, I'm just going to quickly chat with you about my knitting. I'm knitting two colour work projects at the moment, one for Johnny, one for me. Fur much further along with the Johnny one, um, which I'll show you first. This is the Merriment cardigan. I knew I wanted to do colour work this, this season. I was just in the mood for some. And I knew I wanted to knit something for Johnny. And I don't, can't remember why I was in my Ravelry library, but I just was looking in there and I just found this pattern, which I'd obviously purchased at some point, but I have no recollection of purchasing it. I don't know whether it was with Johnny in mind or whether I purchased it ages ago with Jack in mind. I no idea no idea if if you'd held a gun to my head i would have said i'd never seen it in my life before but i, I mean i love it it's beautiful so very happy i did purchase it and i can see why i did it's knit in john arbon knit by numbers dk which is gorgeous stuff it's so soft they have it in a whole array of colors just more or less every color you could think of really and he'll look gorgeous in this color it it's really going to suit him so I just, yeah, I've just got about one and a half sleeves, not even maybe half there to go. So really, really enjoying this. Um, but the cardigan you can see in the background was the inspiration for the thing that I am knitting for me, which is here. Oh, I love it so much. So this is also knit by numbers in a glorious pink. So that's the yarn there. And yes, yeah, so Gertie, who I'm sure you are all very familiar with, but in case any of you aren't, she's a big sewing pattern designer and she has had um, her own pattern label for ages. She's now also got a Patreon where she does her sewing patterns. Each month she releases a pattern on her Patreon with an accompanying video. And she's just fabulous. I mean, she's just brilliant. She's very, very 1950s, very rockabilly, incredibly well styled. All her patterns are of that style. And yeah, she's great, absolutely brilliant. But she had that cardigan on a few years ago on an Instagram photograph. And the second I saw it, I was like, oh, I have to knit this cardigan. Everything stopped, I need to knit this cardigan. And I couldn't find the pattern. I could find what the pattern was. I could find that it was French, it was by Fildar, it was, I could find which kind of they were, you know, the back in the day where they were in sort of magazines. So you'd get, um, well, I don't know whether you call it a magazine or a pamphlet, but had various different patterns in and I knew which one it was in, but I couldn't find a copy of it. Like I was looking basically on eBay and stuff just to try and find like a secondhand copy. Couldn't find one anywhere. So I gave up on the whole idea. And then this year when I was in the mood to do some colour work, that one popped back into my mind and I was, and, and this is a more recent video than the Instagram picture was. And she talks about the cardigan here and how basically someone who came to one of her in-person sewing classes was wearing it in blue and she more or less threatened to rip the cardigan off her back. And then, and then this lovely lady, Ellen, who was wearing it, offered to knit Gertie one, which is incredibly generous, isn't it, time-wise and everything, to knit an adult-sized fair isle cardigan for someone but um so yeah she knit her this red one anyway i was completely in love with it again was when i saw this video and i was thought well, i'm just gonna have another look maybe there'll be a, a copy of it now somewhere and obviously i had i got further in the process than i did last time around because i discovered that you can actually just download it off the internet for free <laughs> so you can get all the it seems you can get all the old fildar booklets so it is in french and I think it's probably, although it looks really vintage styled here, and that's probably partly why I love it so much. It's, I think it's, well, I suppose 80s is vintage, but I think it was probably from the 80s or this, from the look of the rest of the patterns in the booklet. Um, so, but it isn't in pieces. So when I first saw this and I thought it was French, I saw it was knit in pieces, bottom up, which I have not done in years. I, I mean, I think the last thing I knit... I mean, it's like 10 years ago. I was like, oh, I've got to translate it from French, knit it in pieces, bottom up. And then I thought, well, no, actually, it has to be bottom up. 
because otherwise the little dots that look like hearts bottom up because Johnny's is top down the little dots look like little mountains and I prefer little hearts <laughs> and um then I thought well I'll just come up with something really similar myself that's in the round and you know is got a yoke I then came to the conclusion that I was around the bend and the pattern I wanted to knit was that and I had the pattern and I swatched the yarn on the needle side because it calls for 3.5 millimeter needles and really this yarn is meant for more like four but it's fine absolutely fine gauge wise and yeah so I thought no I'm just gonna knit it wasn't too hard to translate the pattern because um my friend Gaynor when I, I was talking to my friends on our little whatsapp group about this cardigan toing and froing in my brain and she I didn't know this but with the app you can hover over something that's printed out which to be fair I did a bit of that but it doesn't know knitting terms so you kind of need to also then google French knitting terms which you can find glossaries online it's it's you know it's not difficult to do and because some of my patterns are translated into French the Whitmore sweater and cardigan are and I'm not unfamiliar with knitting terminology in French and French in general so it wasn't too much of a challenge and it's charted so none of that bit you know charts a chart whether you're French or English so yes I'm about to go on well I've started you can see I've just started on the section where it's white and you can't really see this on the screen but on the white it's still got the dots and the dots are pink and I think this is part of what appeals so much about this cardigan because when I was a little girl I had a dress and the bodice was white with aqua print and the skirt was the same print but it was aqua with white and I think it's that it's just something you know certain things just stick with you it was my favorite dress anyway I am so excited about this and one thing that I have been reminded of about knitting things flat is yes you do have to sew them up at the end although I don't I don't really don't mind that process um is they come they come on so quickly you know you make a load of progress because you're only knitting that one panel whereas if, it, if it's knit in the round you're knitting the entire thing you know especially with a yoke a top-down yoke because you're also creating the sleeves for that first section so it takes ages whereas with this, I've zoomed through this back panel and then you get to move on to another panel and, and again, feel like you're making a lot of progress. And I do like that feeling. Um, there is one other particularly odd thing about this, though. I mean, it's unavoidable. I can see why it is, why, it, you know, why it's the case. But every row of white, you have to cut your yarn and reattach it and begin again. Oh, my goodness. This is another incredible thing, Gertie's she's those are felt holly appliques and there's little berries in there too that you you can't really see it and i've been trying to convince jan for years to let me have a bright pink christmas tree but he is just not having it um yeah so you basically have to cut the yarn and begin again because they're every fourth row and so they're always on a right side row which is nice because you don't have to do any of that particular type of the color work on the wrong side obviously you do when you get to the snowflakes um but because of that yeah but it's because the spacing is then so nice and even you know they're if they were ever because I thought oh maybe I'll just make them every third row and then I can just carry the yarn up but they wouldn't be they would just they wouldn't look as nicely spaced I like how it kind of looks like polka dot fabric rather than like stripes of white so anyway I will just deal with those ends and I can just weave them into the seam I don't mind particularly but yes, I'm so excited about this. I cannot wait to see how it looks with a chunk of the white with the pink bit done. And yes, get cracking on that. But um, I think that's all, everything I had to say about it. Have you ever knit anything flat recently? Because I know that everything used to be like that, really. And have you knit anything where you had to translate the pattern. My sister knit Johnny a baby cardigan, like a newborn baby cardigan from a Norwegian pattern that she bought before she realized it was Norwegian. And she did all of that with Google Translate. And I think that would be definitely less familiar to her than French is to me. So it can be done. 
uh, you just need the motivation to do it, which obviously I did have in this particular case, as you can tell by the fact that I've been banging on about this for about 10 minutes now. So, so anyway, that is enough about my colour work cardigans that I'm working on. Um, I am going to go and sort out what we're having for dinner before that baby wakes up. I think we're just going to have a quiet evening. I want to catch up with some vlogmases. I know that a few have dropped today. It does make December very exciting. But um, tomorrow we're heading off to see Jack's friend Charlie, who <clears throat> we actually met through them both having Perthes, but they've become really good friends of ours. Um, yeah, so I may well catch up with you guys later. I may not. I may just sign off after this incredibly long ramble. <laughs> and um, yeah, if I don't see you again today, then... Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.